So this is how the barn is looking at the moment. This room is looking really nice now. I've repaired all of the brickwork up here. I mended all of this brickwork up here and I put lime on all the walls now, first coat, and I'm really happy with how that looks. I moved to a farm in the spring and I started renovating one of the barns to use as a studio. Back in April, the barn was just full of stuff like old farm equipment, pieces of wood, beams, just rubbish. And before it was used to store that, it had chickens living in it. So it was also full of um, chicken waste and straw. And before that, when it was a working farm, a dairy farm, it had troughs for the cows. And originally, when the building was first built, uh, at least 100 years ago, it was a stable. So there are lots of things in this building that I had to remove and clean and get rid of to make it a usable space. All the windows are broken and boarded up, so I removed bits of old broken glass and rotten wood from them. Then I started to remove lots of rusty metal that was in the building, uh, like sheets of galvanised metal that were put on to protect things but now have rusted, and pipes from the dairy equipment, old troughs that had just fused totally together. The bolts were just rusty lumps of iron and I had to cut them all off with the angle grinder and beat them with a hammer to get them to come out of the wall. This was really hard work. After the initial cleaning was done and I'd got out all the rubbish and cut off all the metal, I hired a pressure washer and I just washed the whole place down. It was so dirty and just full of old chicken poo and dust and pieces of straw. So I washed it all with the power hose. Then I tried to mend the stable divider, which is really, really old. And even though it's not in amazing condition, I would quite like to try and keep it if possible. There are also holes in the roof and I started to fill those with expanding foam. This was an awful job though. And I kind of gave up deciding I would have another go at it later on. There were huge concrete troughs for feeding the cows along some of the walls in the barn and I tried to smash these myself with the sledgehammer but I was getting nowhere it was so hard that we had to get a guy with a jackhammer to come and break it up and I helped them move all the broken concrete. We also took some concrete off the floor which had been poured on one side of the room with the brick floor and underneath we found the floor was still there, so I repaired it and filled in an area that was damaged. To do this I mixed some concrete and so I learned how to do that. And my friend also showed me how to point brickwork, so then I started working on repairing all the interior walls that had lost a lot of their mortar. Pointing took a while, there was a lot to repair, uh, but I finally got that done. And then I started painting the walls with a fresh coat of lime wash. I decided to use lime wash because it should allow the bricks to still breathe.
So I finished my first bag of lime, which I bought to do the mortar and I was also using it for the lime wash. So this is my second bag. I'm hoping that I can finish the rest of the painting with this. Um, it's actually pretty cost effective because this whole bag costs 17 pounds and I'm pretty sure one can of paint would cost at least that, maybe more. Okay, so I was in the middle of painting the lime wash on and I think I've just decided that I'm going to take this pipe off here. So it's coming out of the wall here and I just kind of cemented around it but I might just cut it here and then take it off to maybe here where it's coming in front of the windows and then just try and make this look neat and leave this bit and this pipe. So the line isn't completely opaque after one coat. I'm gonna to have to definitely do another coat, but I'm thinking I might not do it yet. I might actually wait until other things are finished and then the roof is definitely not leaking. I probably should have done that before this, but I just wanted to do this and see the difference. So I might wait to do the second coat. It's November now and it's getting cold here. So far, it's been very mild, but now that it's getting much colder, I think I'm gonna really need some heating in this building if I wanna keep working in here over winter. So my original plan was to buy, at this point in the project, to buy a wood burner and put that in here and start using it so that I have heat while I finish the project, while I do the woodwork for door frames and fix the windows and these kinds of things. It seems though at the moment that loads of people want to buy wood stoves. I was planning on getting a used one, a second hand one and mending it up, 
because I'm not living in here, it's just going to be in daytime hours that it needs to be warm. But it seems like everyone wants to buy old wood stoves at the moment because heating costs are really high at the moment. So this just means that there are not that many stoves around, they're all being bought up by people. And I'm wondering whether there's another way I can do this. I looked at something called masonry heaters because I thought maybe I could build one of those with bricks and cement. The thing is, I have loads of wood. There's loads and loads of wood from the farmland which has been cleared and it's already dry in the barn, loads of bits of scrap wood from when I cleared the wood pile. So I really want to be able to burn wood. Um, I just need to find a way to do that. So, yeah. So there's brickwork up there. And then down below is this rendered section. These holes into the other part of the barn I've left for now because I'm actually planning to run uh, electricity and water pipes through these. I'm going to have a sink in some part of this room. I'm not sure if it should go in this corner by the window or in that corner. And then the other decision is where I'm going to put the stove. My original plan was to have it in the centre so that when you look through both the doors you see it in the middle there. I thought that would look nice. But then I realised that it might compromise the usefulness of this space. Having the wood burner right in the middle might mean I can't use the room as effectively. So then I thought maybe I would have it just here on this wall, but then I'm not sure whether any heat will make it into this room, especially if I'm sitting around here doing some work. There is no way I'm going to get any heat. I've also decided that I'm going to put insulation in the roof. Um, basically, the roof is in not great condition, it's really old, it actually just needs replacing. But that isn't going to happen this winter. So initially I thought that I would just cover the rafters with a membrane or something to like keep out the dust and make it look nicer. But actually now that the weather's turning cold, I'm realising that I really need insulation in the roof. So I'm going to try and get the foam boards and cut pieces and put them in between each rafter. I also think I'm going to lime wash these rafters um, so that when I put the insulation in between, it looks nicer. Before I do that though, I need to make sure that there are no more leaks in the roof uh, because even though I tried to mend the big holes at the beginning of the project, I've noticed over time that there are more little places where it leaks and I need to fill those in. I'm going to try and use expanding foam for that job, which is awful <laughs> to use because you're trying to spray it against gravity and it just drips and falls out of the holes. Um, it's horrible. Uh, at least when I tried it last time, it was awful. This roof in this room isn't too bad. It looks okay, but there's a few holes. There's a bit of light coming in where there's a hole in the slate there. There's this archway, and it takes you into the other room. So in here, the roof looks a lot worse. Like, up in the centre of the roof, somebody has previously tried to mend um, whatever's going on. So it's all a bit of a mess up there. There are more holes in the roof here. There's one really obvious one there. So I'm going to have to get up there and fill those quite well. There's a bit there, there's lights coming in. But basically between all of these rafters, I want to put foam insulation.